guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to talk about taking profits as we approach the end of the year i presume many of you are probably asking yourselves okay i've made quite a bit of money from omi already what exactly should i be doing right should i take profits shouldn't i take profits etc where should i take profits and Overall, this question itself can be very daunting because, again, as price goes down, you start to panic because you say to yourself, should I have bought, sold at an all-time high? Or if price starts going up, you say to yourself, should I just hold on? Now, I'm going to answer those questions for the community today. So make sure you share this video with all your friends and OMI holders. But before we continue, make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date on all my recent videos remember guys nothing that you see in this video is financial advice so always 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 make sure to do your own independent research now let's get into the video for those of you that have been watching our omi content from the start you would have seen our first video we entered omi at less than a quarter of a cent yes a spectacular entry now our all-time highs that we saw was close to four sorry 500 percent, so 488 percent and currently uh we are up around 184 percent so you guys can completely see the difference here right if we took profit in march again that would have been almost a 5x return on our capital if we take profit now it's almost a 2x return on our capital. Now, of course, as you guys would know, I'm personally holding this for the long term. So yes, even though 5x would be great, you know, especially for any typical hold uh, on any if you're looking at a stock, if you're looking at, you know, any type of, you know, asset, really, that kind of return is phenomenal. People wait years for those kind of returns. We saw that in less than a month right but of course as you guys know we are long term on this journey which means our exit strategy is more planned around the long term so we expect this we expect to be holding this for at least five to ten years i would say three to five minimum um but obviously you know minimum i'm gonna say five years because i see this being a long-term play and this project producing the best amount of returns for the long term, right? And we all know what happened with the Bitcoin situation. So for those of you that are thinking, you know, what's the point? Just look at Bitcoin, right? Now, personally, when it comes to exit strategies, I always go according to my objective my objective before I enter the trade. So before I enter any trade, any type of uh, play, setup, I always have a plan in place, right? I don't enter and then plan plan out. I plan in advance. Now, because I already planned for this to be a long-term trade, it doesn't matter if price is 5X, 2X, or in a minus, because my exit strategy is minimum five years which means i have a five-year duration on this and five-year hold irrespective of the price action now obviously with that being said if price goes to like five dollars overnight then obviously you know i'm gonna cash out why or at least cash out 50 percent why well 50 percent, not the whole thing of course why because it ties it goes in alignment with my financial objectives right that's the point here guys you need to have your own financial goals, your own financial objectives, and of course, map out your trades around that. And only you will know that, right? Only you will know that. That's a personal, uh, it's personal to you, and it's personal to what you would like to achieve in your life, and how much money would really completely change life for you, right? So for example, let's say your OMI, your OMI uh, play, play setup hit over five million dollars now of course any rational human being would say okay i'm going to capture at least 50 percent of that which is 2.5 mil why 
because that's money that you would never have seen before. I don't know, well, some of you maybe have, which will make you want to hold on for longer, etc. But if you're going from hundreds of thousands or maybe a few thousand or even a hundred of dollars to to the millions, then of course your financial objective, objective would have been met, right? Which means, of course, you probably look to cash out. With that being said, for the short-term perspective, of course, this all-time high area for some people may have been the time to cash out, right? Why? You make 5x, you put in 10k, that's over $50,000, right? If you put a hundred, if you put in 100, that's over 500k, right? So it all depends on your objectives here, but 5x may have been the goal for some. Um, 100, uh, nearly 2x may also be the goal for some. It all depends, and here's a, here's a kicker, guys. It all depends on what you're trying to achieve. So before I continue with this video, what you want to establish right this second is, are you in this for the short term? Which means you don't plan on being in this for very long. Then maybe now is a good time to, to, to exit. Are you in this for the midterm? Of course, there may that may be a few months or a few more or a year or two left. Then, of course, you might want to hold on. Are you in this for the long term? Then, of course, it's not even a question, right? So that's one thing that you need to answer. Uh, I would suggest you pause the video, probably reflect upon that. And in fact, whilst you've paused the video, click the link in my description and join the Telegram group because that's where you'll be able to stay up to date on all our latest updates, news updates, technical updates, and much, much more. Now. Also, guys, it it also should be based around your price predictions as well. If you predict for price to, let's say, go all the way back to a quarter of a cent before the end of the year, then obviously now will probably be a good time to exit. If you plan for price to go to, I don't know, 10 cents before the end of the year, then of course you're probably going to want to hold on, right? So it all there's so many different variables that will make you want to either exit or stick with the position. Now, our end of year strategy, our end of year price prediction is pretty interesting, right? And that's another reason why we're holding on. Well, of course, we're long term anyway, so it, it is irrelevant. But even some of our short term positions that we could easily cash out of, because as you know, we had some nice restocks at this area. But we're holding on. Why? Because of our end of year price prediction, which you can access exclusively by joining Crypto Crew Premium, that's exclusively in that group and it's pinned. So as soon as you join, you can access that, that end of year price prediction. Link in the description, Crypto Crew Premium for that end of year price prediction. But guys, whatever your end of year price prediction is, and then obviously you can map out your exit strategy around that, right? So to conclude the video, taking profits, you know, obviously is tail is based around your own personal objectives but of course should be tailored around price action as well because even your own personal objectives may be i don't know it may be very 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 long term so for example if you're saying i'm going to make a hundred million dollars from omi then of course this could be a 20-year 30 year play right which means obviously you would have to tailor that around that objective <laughs> if that makes sense guys so of course you have your personal objectives but they have to be in alignment with price action and what price could actually do within that time frame i hope this video helped and gave a bit more clarity to those of you that are probably sitting there thinking what on earth am i doing here how do i exit this when should i exit this and how if you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to ask or send us an email as well. Link in the description. Guys, I want to wish you all the best of luck on your OMI journey. We have a lot more videos to come. And we, like I said, we are focused on not only Ecomi, the the project, but we're also focused on OMI coin over here because, of course, we are stakeholders of that project with that being said guys when others are fearful be greedy when others are greedy be fearful with that being said seize the day